everybody, welcome back to another episode of Last Day Other Survival. Today we return. You know what we got in store today, lads and lassies? We got number one, a couple more things to toss in this dude's inventory. Probably not enough, but it will inch us forward and we will. Oh, ho you know we getting that bad boy today. We also got 20 green tickets we've acquired throughout the days that we can toss on into this bad boy. And also, you know, we got we got something new from Kafir. So check this out. Kafir, last day on Earth, posted this. Oh, hold on, hold on, before we check that out. Got a freaking engine part, dude. And a free pistol. Jakey food. Okay. Successful green crate. Any green crate with an engine part is a huge success. But check this out from last day on Earth. Many of you ask what to show what we do. Well, sometimes we do that. And then they have that, like, thinking emoji, like the, hmm, like the, you know, rubbing your chin, you know, you know, that emoji. They got that emoji, and they are showing off something really freaking weird that I don't think any of us understand. Like, I've been looking at this thing and trying to decipher it for a solid half an hour, because I wanted to go in this video, like, knowing kind of what's going on. And I guess I've, like, deciphered it a little bit, but I, I don't know, man. It's, whew. It's been a struggle, but if you look at it, so there are a couple of things that you can notice, and I can notice a Choppa event when I see one. Hold on, we're going straight there. We're gonna, as always, try to acquire the weapons, and uh, we'll go we'll go to the bunker in a sec, too. But uh, when we're back to talking about this, it's, I don't know, some sort of puzzle, some sort of secret, some sort of something. If you guys have any ideas at all regarding what you think this is, por favor, let me know, because this is something I think we for sure are going to have to figure out together. But, like, from what I'm seeing, like, I don't know, if, if you take a closer look at it, there's some things like... Uh, I mean, there's like stuff on the bench. Like, I, it kind of looks like you can see it kind of like looks like a workbench, sort of like that upper lefter part. You can see it kind of looks like the workbench because it's got like, you know, some circles. It's got like a knife, a hammer. And the lower left, it looks like there's like a cleaver of some kind on that table. And then you got all these blocks. They kind of remind me of like houses with chimneys, but I don't think that's what they are. You can see presents over on the right. A compass, uh, a couple of different colored, like, it kind of looks like light bulbs with, like, the red and green. You know, not, not light bulbs, but you know what I mean? Uh, you can see a penguin, so maybe there's gonna be penguins coming in the game, but it just looks like a bunch of random stuff that Kafir threw together. And, uh, I mean, I kind of like what looks like a paintbrush? Kind of a paintbrush over there on the left between the two kind of, like, workbench type dealios, and... I don't know, it kind of looks like maybe some paint up at the top that's kind of like pouring out of that gray thing. That's some of the things I was able to decipher. I cannot make sense out of whatever the hell this is showing though. So if you guys can, please go ahead and let me know in the comment section down below because this is something that we are definitely gonna have to work together to try and figure out. And a reminder, putting that comment in the comment section down below puts you a third of the way into the weekly $25 iTunes slash Play Store gift card giveaway, and all you gotta do as well is make sure that like button, make sure you're subscribed, and boom shakalaka, that's your entry right there. You can hit the notification bell as well to make sure you know when all new videos are coming out so you can enter in all of the new videos because you guys can enter in on every Last Day on Earth video, and what happens is that when Saturday rolls around, I'll pick a random Last Day on Earth video from the last, uh, whatchamacallit, from the past Saturday to this upcoming Friday. I'll pick a random video, and from there, pick a random comment. From that random comment, you, my friend, will be chosen as the winner, and you, my friend, will get the choice between Android and iOS when it comes to the gift card, and when you are announced on Saturday. But without further ado, you can see we just shot that dude up. No one seems to care. That's always the guy. I feel like this group of chopper people, they just want him dead, you know? It's kind of messed up. But, uh, yeah, free kill if you guys are ever doing chopper events. Uh, speaking of not-so-free kills, might try to take this dude on. Looks like he might, uh, might be a bit of trouble. Although, all the deer really make this event more annoying than it has to be. So, you know what? Why don't we deal with them the way that all enemies should be dealt with? Shotgun rain! Shotgun rain! Ah, uh, eat the shotgun rain! Not the deer! I don't want the deer to eat shotgun rain! You! Eat the shotgun rain! Okay. He ate plenty. Shotgun rain for you! Shotgun rain for you! And shotgun rain for you! All right. Hey, look at that. We are going to be having a nifty little profit coming out of here, boys and girls. Is that a dead guy or is that a deer? That's a dead guy. Ooh. Oh, some solid SWAT armor, too. Ooh. There are, I'm going to be tempted by these things. But the main thing, the main reason we saw these chopper events 
is what these contain. Ooh, the red ticket will come in handy for sure. I wish we could double click to get out of there. Um, that's one gun oil. I can leave the one gun oil behind. And honestly, I might leave behind the Agua too. Definitely not the Band-Aids. Uh, he's got some good armor behind him too. Not gonna lie. We might, uh, we might try and steal something, but scuba mask, man. Cross your fingers for me. One day we will acquire that snorkel. Today is obviously not that day, but one day that day will come. And when that day comes, oh boy, you know I'm going to be happy. But I guess I can leave behind the machete. And from there, uh, just make sure to take probably the boots. Those are the most important. And uh, ah, that's some really quality armor I don't want to leave behind. But at the same time, I don't want to leave behind guns. I'll just take like one of the armors here. I know I could be taking more, but at the end of the day, the main reason we're doing this is to try and get the big ticket item known as the snorkel because this thing's been in the game for a while. It's rare. I see you guys tweet you getting me. I, that was a oh, really bad angle. I hear you. I see you guys occasionally tweeting me about it and showing me that you guys keep getting it. So that's awesome that you guys are getting it. It's not awesome. But I'm not getting it, so I'm kind of trying to uh, remedy that, if you can catch my drift. And that is an expensive run. What the hell? Hold on, how the hell does that take 57 when we used up like 53 to get here? Hold on, is there a short... Oh, it's because we used the chopper to get to the actual chopper event. Never mind, I am Dingus, and we have just enough to get here before spending up some of our money. If a uh, airdrop event happens, too, we might head there. We'll probably drop off some of these goodies at the first floor of the bunker, and then we're going in. We're going in deep, boys. Taking out the blind one, that's the game plan. That's why we got all the medical kits. That's why the chopper event's really good. You usually get, a, like, free medic med kits out of it. Ton of free band-aids. I mean, it's obviously not free, but what? You gotta kill, like, three dudes, usually? It's not that bad. And I mean, like, that time, you get one free kill because they just don't care about the one guy who's, like, in the upper left-hand corner of the camp. They, like, want him to die. It's a demented, you know? Uh, what should I call? After that, we got, we got the event where, like, they betray each other. You know the one I'm talking about? Where it's like the two groups of survivors start shooting at each other. When everyone's when all said and done, two of them survive and they're kind of beat up. So that's a little bit easier too. And uh, then you have the third event, which comes in two varieties. The zombie horde version and the version where you just get attacked. Oh, is it that? What the hell? I've never seen that before. I've... What? Is that a new chopper animation? Am I crazy? Oh, speaking of things, uh, yeah, the tab here, the limited time tab, turns out that, uh, that's a myth. Doesn't exist anymore. It's a figment of our imagination. It appeared for a little bit. Hey, she gone. So I thought there was going to be, like, new limited time crates, but I guess not. You know, that's the way they made it sound. We literally used up all of our gas to get, dude, that's so funny, though. <laughs> all right. Let's head on over. I'll uh, drop off some of the goodies and some of these crates here. And there we have it! Actually, we should probably put away the engine part too and make sure to bring that home. But with our amount of red tickets here, the game plan is that hopefully the blind one will give us 10. And hopefully there's just a chest somewhere in this floor that will give us the mythical 30th ticket. And from that 30th ticket, you know what we will acquire? Profit! Tons of it. But mainly, I want to get that floppy disk. So we'll worry about the 30th red ticket a little bit later. We got bigger priorities right now. Actually, blinder priorities, some might say. And you know that I like taking my priorities and I like doing things with them. Like prioritizing them. I know, an absolute madman I am. But dude, I can't wait to see what the hell comes out of that Christmas thing. Because that's that's a hell of a teaser that they're showing. And something something's good's got to come out of that, man. They're being super mysterious about it. And I'm excited to hear what you guys got to say because I... This is the most baffled I've been by a Kafir post. Like, usually I can decipher something out of them. I am not gonna lie, I ain't deciphering that. So maybe one of you guys is a secret Kafir puzzle cracker. All right, if so, I gotta get you on my payroll or something, and we'll figure out all the updates before they happen. <laughs> but, uh... Sorry, guys, sniffle a little bit. I'm feeling a lot better, by the way, though. You know, it's just the morning, so it's a little poopy, but I'm feeling a lot better than I have been lately in terms of, uh, you know, not being sick as hell. So that's great. Blind one, buddy. I am coming. I am coming to say hello to you. Don't strip me naked, though, bro. That would be not very cool, but... Ah, dude, this Christmas event, man. Usually, I remember last time, Kafir posted two teasers before the Halloween event happened. So this is the second Christmas teaser. I think it's coming in the coming days, or I think this weekend at the latest. It's gotta be. And, uh, hello, buddy! You, you still don't do enough damage to, like, actually kill me, right? I'm just kinda, 
concerned here. Concerned for my health, quite literally. I don't want you to take out my health. There we go. I do want to take out your health, though. I hope you, I hope you enjoy this little bit of shotgun rain. Never hurt anyone. Oh, I tried stretching it too much. You can't get that last one in. As much as I want it to happen, it ain't happening. The death of the blind one, on the other hand. Oh, chef, you betcha. That bad boy's happening. Oh, yeah, you can only get, like, five shots off on him. Yeah, I, I tried getting a sixth one off. Not worth. Not worth. Not doing that no more. Healing up, on the other hand. Doing plenty of that. And okay. Oh, I should not have let him do it, like, right next to this thing. Eh, we should still be able to get him here. He's gonna go and heal. No, 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 no. No heal for you, blind one. Absolutely shut down. Sit down, blind one. Be humble. Does, wait, does he even know how to sit down? I don't know. I feel like he's too busy, A, being aggressive, and B, I don't know, dude. To be fair, he is blind. I mean, like, I hope he can still find the floor and how to sit on it, but I don't know. I've never been blind in my life, so I can't speak for blind people here. I don't know what it's like. I do know what it's like to have your eyes swell up from pink eye, because that was kind of happening to me, but I think that and being blind are two very different things. And hold on. He's about to go below that threshold. Shut down, boy! There we go. And already, almost dead. Our shotgun is almost dead, too, though. I'm, I am scared our shotgun's gonna break before all's said and done. I'm also kind of scared. Oh, man, didn't mean to do that angle. Also kind of scared. Oh, he's kind of... He might be stuck in the wall here, boys. Talk about nifty. Guys, I think he's stuck in the wall. Hold on, is this a... Uh, it is true. Oh man, this it's not the best place to be stuck though. And he can still hurt us. But it gives us a nice amount of time here to chill. Just make sure that, you know, none of our stuff's gonna break. Probably eat some jakey. Need a little bit of jakey in our lives. Come on, get a couple hits in on me here, buddy. Couple more. Make it hurt. Hit me harder. Harder. Yeah, there we go. And then you can run that way. Please don't get like totally stuck though, dude. There we go. That's a good amount of stuck. I'll take that amount of stuck. Okay, get one more hit off on me, and then we gotta heal for sure. And then we gotta switch on over to, uh, the finishing weapon here. I might try and finish him with the pistol. Don't know how possible that's gonna be, but hey, A plus for effort, am I right? I don't think it's gonna finish him off. It'll come close, though. I'll finish you this way. 1v1 me, bro! Because you're gonna lose that 1v1, and we are never getting that chopper skin! But it's okay, because we are getting that floppy disk. Boys and girls, this is definitely, this gonna be more than enough for, for what we require. And also, I need some beef jerky, because, uh, I mean, we don't 100% need the beef jerky, but let's be honest. It'll come in handy, it'll heal us up a little bit, and we could use the band-aid, but nah. Nah. We don't gotta do that. Nah. Instead, we gotta head on. I, like, I think we should be able to get a red ticket out of one of these crates, though, because I always feel like I get a random, I always get a couple of random red tickets from doing the bunker, but we are about to get the level 11 floppy disk, which we should have had a while ago. And, uh, I mean, I've been- uh, Kafir finally responded to me. The support team, they responded to me saying how I didn't get my floppy disk for level 7. And they said, sorry for not responding faster, and due to the huge amount of people asking, we hope that you've solved your problem. If you haven't, contact us again. So, uh, that's kind of the biggest joke ever, because it's probably going to take them another, like, week or two to respond to that one, and they're going to be like, Hey, sorry for taking a while again. If it's still a problem, hit us up again. Hopefully not, because uh, that would be really stupid and just an endless cycle. But Specialist, I got a not-so-endless cycle for you. I got a cycle of giving you stuff, and you giving me discs. The floppy variety, to be exact. Next level, we're getting the AK-2. Ooh la la! Honestly, that next level is probably going to come this bunker run, but, uh... Time to upload the floppy with coordinates. Cross your finger, boys! Start crossing them now! I don't know. Cross your fingers, boys. Not your finger. I don't think you can cross one finger, and if you can, you should probably go to a hospital. Because, uh, your finger has to be broken in, like, four different places if you're crossing a finger on itself. Like, two fingers, that's easy to cross, man. You know, a little bit of flexibility here or there. You're good to go! Alright, one finger, though. That's gonna require some broken boi- boins. <laughs> Some broken bones and missing joints. I was gonna try to say bones and joints at the same time, so I said boints. <laughs> you need some missing boints, you know, man. Uh, but we're gonna head on over to this. Probably want to drop off some of the things here. Just because usually it's just easier to kind of drop them off here, so I'm gonna do that. Alright, our inventory is looking pretty good for this scenario, I think. Actually, maybe we'll get band-aids. The bandadas. Bandadas. I don't think that's how you say band-aids in Spanish. But hey! 
I like saying things the totally wrong way in Spanish, as you can tell by the way I say muchos puntos. You know, we're getting lots of them points, man. I don't think that's, uh, I don't think that's the puntas. I think it's many puntas. We are acquiring lots of puntas. That's what I usually say. Uh, just heads up. I don't think that's actually right. If you're trying to learn Spanish from me, listen, you can rely on the pantalones, but after that point, I will admit right now, I may not be the most reliable lad in that sense. And there is an airdrop. We might, we might make a pit stop by the airdrop, to be 100% honest. Because that airdrop has had goodies for us that we've never imagined before, but... This is it, man! This is it! This could be the fifth electronic circuit! And if it is... The acid bath will be on its way to completion. We still need a couple of connecting rods, though. But the connecting rods, we don't need to wait on a floppy disk. We just have to go out and adventure. I haven't had a ton of time to do I've been doing it a little bit, having a bad bit of bad luck so far. You guys got to understand, it's finals week, okay? My time, not only finals week, but there's awesome new games coming out, like Arc Aberration. Check out that video coming out later today. Make sure you guys do. I play tons of Arc on the channel. It's a huge survival game. I think you guys will love it. I like how I'm just hauling this thing like by the brim. I wonder, will we get an O? Oh, well, we're, we got a toxic abomination. We got a 1v1. What's up, dude? You want to get to sumo wrestling? Oi! Dodge, do you like a pro? You want to sumo wrestle some more? You'll lose. Guaranteed. Oh, no. I didn't want a stick. I did not want no stick. I'll take the thumb drive, though. The thumb stick. Whatever. Whatever it's called. There we go. Let's make our way towards here. It is a normal one. No infected box. Okay. This could be it. This could be the final key to the puzzle. Like, maybe we still do need to kind of, like, get, we like, technically speaking here, the connecting rods do stand between us and the keyhole. But this could be the final key. Cross everything you got right now. Fingers, hands, legs, toes, eyes. I need everything crossed. We need all the luck in the world right now. Oh man. Well, I mean, I can't be super, I can't be salty because we got a scar, boys! But I can be salty because we didn't get an electronic circuit, which makes me very sad. We're gonna have to wait even longer to get the acid bath, but that's okay. That'll give me some time to get caught up on the connecting rods, too. But all things considered, man, solid storage. I don't know. And also, that thing's chasing after us. I ain't fighting you, broski. The scar, on the other hand, though. Hoo -hoo -hoo! Talk about a nifty little item we have found ourselves acquiring. Seriously, I, we only had one scar, but as you guys can see, it looks like after a while, you can actually get scars from the normal, like, from the floppy disks. Like, I was, I thought, I don't know. Like, we've been getting dual Berettas from them before, but now to actually get a scar? Dude, that makes me hopeful that after a while... You know what I'm thinking? After a while, once we unlock, I think like once you unlock the item from the dealer, he will actually be able to, uh, he, like the floppy disks have a chance of dropping it. So after we hit level 15 and get all the floppy disks after that, I'm just saying guys and gals, there's a, uh, there's a chance we get grenade launchers and floppy disks. Oh, the infected box. That's what I want, man. A scar is nice. I can't complain, but I can't complain about one thing, about the lack of something that we need. And the fact that we gotta haul our chopper like this everywhere, it's so funny. But our lack of- oh, hello Toxic Spitter. Your lack of a head, because that thing's about to be gone! Sorry, dude. But our lack of the last electronic circuit. I mean, it seems our luck so far has been that like every other- every other floppy disk, we've been getting an electronic circuit, so I'm guessing maybe level 13 will be the floppy disk we acquire, and then level 14, that might be the level- Oh man, oh, I mean, eh, not too shabby. But then I'm thinking that level 14 will be, uh, that might be the infected box if all goes well. And then level 15, we get the grenade launcher. That will be a perfect progression. Everything will come together perfectly. We upgrade AKs with the next level. Two levels from now, we finish the acid bat. Three levels from now, we get the infected box and cleanse that bad boy. And four levels from now, we get the grenade launcher. Not saying that's how it is going to go down, but that's how I'm hoping it goes down. Because if it goes down exactly like that, we're in for a treat. Because that is just going to be a ton of stuff to happen. Especially with this Christmas update hopefully coming soon. But we might finish the bunker hard mode finally after many, 
many weeks. I think has it been weeks? Yeah, I think it's been weeks. Cause how long has 1.6.9 been out? It's been at least two weeks for sure. I think it's actually been out right around two weeks, a little over two weeks, because we've done the bunker. I think we've done it like seven times. Because each time we do the bunker, we get like one and like a third of a level. And we're at like we're at like level eleven right now. So I think this was like our seventh or eighth bunker run on hard mode, if that makes sense. So things are kinda they're starting to all merge and come together. And my dude is getting a hell of a workout and having actually hauled a chopper everywhere. Great job, man. If I ever need a move listen, I I know what we gotta do. We gotta start a moving company in the apocalypse. We'll make billions. Billions. All this, uh, you know what else we're gonna make billions off of? The fact that we are getting so many engine parts right now, dude. It's a marvelous. Absolutely marvelous. Those boots were about to break. I'll go ahead and toss those for some inventory room here. I know this makes some of you shiver in fear. Chill. Okay, we'll be good, but, uh, inventory organization time. All right, guys and gals, the inventory is looking pretty nifty, if you ask me. Should be more than enough to clear little, little, little of the ways here. Uh, I am scared that our armor is about to break, so I'm gonna put on the nicer armor there, and that's, like, the only nicer SWAT armor we have. So just in case, we are going to bring a emergency pantalons. Can never go wrong with pantaloons of the emergency variety. Always highly suggest you just got some lying around, you know, for one. <laughs> Things hit the fan. And, uh, probably some nice boots, because, yeah, I'm fully expecting this stuff to break. So, I mean, we got the nicer SWAT armor, but that's about it. So we're also getting kind of thirsty, so... I hope we got some- Eh! There's definitely gonna be some water lying around, and if there isn't, eh! We'll just die of thirst, man. I I'm used to dying to stupider ways, so, uh... Won't be too surprised, you know, but I'm excited to hop back into this bunker and continue our collection because, I, like I said, I'm probably going to do some more of the bunker run in our free time. So uh, tomorrow we can hopefully acquire the level up for the AKs and then all of those AKs we've been storing, the nearly broken ones, we'll be able to put them bad boys to great use. And, uh, oh, we got some iron there. I'll make sure to pick that up on the way back. We'll be able to put those things to some awesome use when we, uh, are able to repair them from pretty much one shot left to fully repaired and the fact that they're gonna gain a modification and if we're really lucky they'll gain every modification by becoming fully modded so uh you know great stuff ahead in the future i'm quite excited to see where it goes i'm also quite excited to chop off some zombie heads and uh, you know release release my frustrations upon them why am i frustrated because finals week how can you not be frustrated during finals week man it's a stressful time, and I'm a stressed out dude, and I gotta make YouTube videos too, because I gotta wish y'all fan fantastic days, and yeah, so that's the move. Nah, making the YouTube videos is honestly like a really good break, like, it, it does take a good amount of time, but honestly, it's a great break from the insanity just to be able to talk to you guys instead of like stress out about the next thing that I gotta stress out about, and usually... There's, there's gonna be a good amount of things to stress out about, you know what I'm saying? So, we gotta try and get to, uh, A, shooting this toxic abomination an absolute ton. Good news is we got a ton of range on our shots due to the fact that we're using the full- Oh no, exploded. Get out of here, man. I want- I want to shoot the abomination. Oh no. Don't corner me! Woo! That could have went poorly. Good news is we got a ton of band-aids too, and we got the eight extra in our inventory after this. This exploder's probably gonna blow up kind of soon. Although I want to shoot the toxic abomination first. I just want him dead before we gotta deal with, uh, there we go. Start to, baby, won't you come my way? Exploder, I got something to say. I just want to shoot you in the face, so get over here. Uh, probably got to finish this guy with a, a normal pistol. We'll, we'll just finish him this way. Don't even care. I'm cornered. I don't feel like kiting here right now. I feel like murder. Absolute murder to the third degree. And also killing some parasites. Y'all got to die too, man. Too risky. Too risky to have around. Hey, It's a good start. I mean, the toxic abomination not dropping anything is a bad start, but this... It's a good makeup for that. And we broke our pistol on that dude's face. Always a great thing to break on. Oh, I forgot to bring the AK. We, could, we definitely could have taken this dude out with the AK. Uh, well, whatever. Let's use an AK right now, then. Frenzy Giant. Hello! And soon to be good, but actually, you know, I just realized we could just use one of these instead of the AK. Ah! I forget! I, for I forgot we had some sights, because the sights on a pistol give them the same range as a rifle, and the rifle does have better range, and I really hope I got some water in my inventory. Yeah. Bless up. I'll take the baked beans while we're at it, too. 
Let's chug on that bad boy. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Absolutely delicioso. Oh, okay. I'm just gonna... I'm peeing on the door. The vitamin P. Listen, frenzy giant, my dear friend, I cannot reach you with my emergency vitamin P. Emergent P. <laughs> I can't reach you with my emergent P. But uh, listen, come to the door, crawl over here with your dead body, and claim it for yourself. Can you do that for me? I hope you can. It's, I hope I'm not asking it too much. I really hope I'm not. Uh, okay, so these guys, we got two spitters we got to deal with here. Should be able to, especially if we get them stuck on the doorway to gain a little bit of time and stuck on the corner right there. No, they didn't get stuck on that corner. There we go. They got stuck on that corner. And we kill him before he gets his first hit off on us. And this is how we min-max this stuff, man. This is how we get away without a scratch or bruise on us. We wait for the spitters to do stupid things like get stuck. And then we got the time to shoot them point blank. When they finally catch up. Now you, my friend, listen, I've moved on to the philosophy. Exploders and frenzy giants, you guys have the privilege of dying to the marvelous weapons known as Kalashnikov 47s and M16s. I mean, listen, you guys deserve a great death. And I don't want you blowing up all over my assets. My assets in this case being me, because I'm quite valuable. Some might even say I'm the MVA, most valuable asset in the game. <laughs> and uh, this thing's about to go bad. The good news is if you shoot at them with uh with the extendo sight, they don't really notice you're shooting at them like at all, which is really nifty cuz it lets you kind of just get away with being a cheeky little bugger and it lets you get away with loot in another military notebook and oh, dude, the toxic spitters. When the toxic spitters are dropping better than dog tags, that's how you know. It's gonna be a good day. I got a good feeling about today's third floor run, man. What if we get the level up? Oh, it should have been a military notebook, but I'm, I, I ain't judging. I ain't counting. Frenzy giant, buddy. There we go. I'm scared of getting too close to the door because sometimes the frenzy giant, he'll start coming after you a little bit earlier than he like technically should come after you. Or like, he'll, he'll start coming after you even when he can't see you. Because he'll like see that you're really close, like from the wall and stuff. And let's hope that he dies. Oh, we got him before he got to us. Bless up. Okay, you gotta give me some notebooks, man. The exploders are giving me notebooks. And the frenzy giants are giving me those things. It's a little bit backwards, but... Uh, the thing I'm talking about is that if there's a frenzy giant on the other side of the door, sometimes it'll do something stupid. So like, let's say I'm right here. If I'm close enough, the frenzy giant will be like, Oh, he's right on the other side of the door. I'll go to the door, and then it'll start swinging from the other side, and long story short, if there's a frenzy giant waiting for you on the other side of the door, it's kind of hard to get away in time, so, you know, not get screwed over by him, so I just kind of, word of warning there, word to the wise, and word to the holy hell, I love what I'm seeing, we should probably, you know what, I'm gonna try and use some melee weapons, we haven't been using those enough, we got some katanas after all, we can definitely do some damage over here to some toxic spitters. Although I feel like this one's gonna notice me. Oh! Yeah, he noticed me just, just in the nick of time. That's alright. We'll take him out using our katana expertise. You can never go wrong with expertise in the art of the katana. Except if you're trying to katana fight. Hey! Look at that. Called it. Beautiful timing for me to put on that fresh pair of clothes. And there is the mythical 30th red ticket. So excuse him. Actually, no. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna be productive. Something I might not be the best at doing at all times, but something I will attempt to do on this blessed day today. Hey, I will attempt to shoot you in the face. I will not just attempt to shoot you in the face, I will succeed at shooting in the face. Multiple, multiple times. But after your face is shot, I will lure the frenzy giant back. And I'm just kinda gonna do a couple like, Little bit of two birds, one stone type of deal, you know what I'm saying? And also, we gotta deal with, uh, these things coming. Get out of here, parasites! You slow-moving devils, but, uh, we're gonna start luring the friend- Aw. Oh, really exploded? How are you gonna give me that? How are you gonna do that? Toxic spitters have been giving me better jazz than you have. But, uh, just to kind of be productive, what I thought we'd do here. Is we'll just kind of lure the frenzy giant over. It's gonna take a little bit for him to, like, get back anyways. You know what I mean? Like, if you want to bring him all the way back, do damage to him. Kiting him back, kind of, we're kind of making progress towards the elevator anyway, so it's a two birds, one stone type of scenario. Two giants, one bullet, you know what I'm saying? A little bit of collateral damage. And then, 
We'll collect whatever he has, go topside, and open up that red crate. Hopefully to the sweet, sweet scent of glory. But as soon as we get him to that last bullet, we're actually going to go and do the cheeky little door glitch, a.k.a. the greatest glitch in the world. If you guys aren't doing the door glitch, start doing the door glitch, man. It's amazing. You just got to lure the frenzy giants close. You gotta lure them nice and close. False sense of security. Next thing you know, you hit him with that. And for some reason, the barrels, they confuse them. It's like using Confuse Ray on a Pokemans, you know what I'm saying? They just, they just don't know what's happening. Next thing you know, they don't know that they're getting shot. That doorway. It's like a doorway to another dimension. A dimension without a nervous system. And a dimension with military notebooks entering the beautiful and marvelous place known as our inventory. And hopefully, we get some good things out of this red crate. The main thing I'm looking for, I'd love a double connecting rod red crate. It is possible. I've seen it happen before with me on two eyes, lads. The on two eyes of mine. I've seen it. I've seen it happen. I'd love to get one of that. I'd love to get some more guns, because usually red crates give plenty of guns. Honestly, a couple of engine parts, too. Like, I mean, the gas tank would be nice, but at this point, believe it or not, we do have three gas tanks. One, we got through doing bunkers. Two, we got through opening crates, but still, man. Those things, I don't know. Whenever trading comes to the game, I'll probably be happy that I had so many gas tanks. That'll, uh, that'll be great. Seriously, multiplayer, that's, that's one of the big reasons I'm excited for multiplayer, is because I'll be able to hopefully trade. And if there's like a global market, and if I could put my gas tank on the global market, that global market, whoo-wee! About to have some good profit, boys. Uh, I think, I think good profit's actually a, an understatement. At this point. Speaking of good profit, dude, I don't know if you guys keep up with Litecoin. Holy hell. I bought my first Litecoin. You know, I decided this this whole Bitcoin Litecoin craze is going crazy, man. I decided to buy a Litecoin. Next thing you know, it went from like 80 bucks when I bought it. It's at like 400 bucks right now. It's insane, man. I know. I know. It's freaking nutty, dude. That much money. That much increase for a college kid. Listen, man. It's nice. And you know what else is going to be nice? Connecting rods. Ah, uh, yeah, no, no connect. Wow, this is actually... This might be the worst red crate I have ever gotten in my life. I don't know what the hell I'm looking at, but it sure as hell isn't gorgeous. You guys see, like, not a single engine part. Uh, two pistols. Shotgun, that's nice. AK, that's nice. Two pairs of combat armor, like, okay, we got the, we got the gas mask, too. A lot of iron, I guess that's okay. I, this is, uh, I am not impressed today, boys and girls. I was holding out hope that we get something good. We got quite the opposite of something good, but that's okay. We're still doing quite fan freaking tastic We acquired a scar for the first time, so we can bring that total up to two. The dealer, or the specialist, I always call him the dealer. We're well on our way to level 12, unlocking the AK upgrades, and then a couple more floppy disks, and an acid bath is very close in our future. So we got some awesome stuff happening. But with that, that's going to go ahead and wrap it up for me for now. Thank you guys all time for watching. Have yourselves a fan freaking fantastic day. Best of luck opening up these crates and getting a gas tank for yourself. Best of luck doing the hard mode if you're doing that. Just best of luck to you guys to have as amazing of a day as possible and spread some of that positivity. That's going to do it for me for now. Excited to hear what you guys got to say about that Christmas teaser we were talking about. And uh, have yourselves a fantastic day. Talk to you in the next one. And my dude's got to wave. See ya.